Neil, in terms of crop choice and a variety choice, how does that influence uh, soil health? For me, it's all about how the variety produces roots, okay. communicates with the below ground bit, the life in the soil, yes. and how that then translates to nutrients, canopy building, disease resistance, final yield. Yes. And Neil, once you have the variety selected, what's the nutritional uh, tricks that you can do to help that even further? That's a brilliant question. Uh, for me, the variety itself has characteristics from a root point of view. Yes. Nutritionally, phosphorus we can play with to drive roots. That will help us pick up nitrogen. We can look at magnesium to give us canopy and green leaf area. Yes. And we can look at things like manganese for vigour and for health. And for pollination for some of the hybrid crops. It's really important, zinc and copper. Zinc and copper zinc, for pollination. Absolutely, and you're looking at influencing then flowering and viable grain set. Okay, thanks very much again, Neil. Pleasure. So Neil, we've had a very successful open day here in SeedTech in Waterford, and thanks very much again for coming over. Pleasure. Uh, one of the topics that we had as a team throughout our day was sustainability. And we're standing beside a board here, which is um, our first step in the sustainability journey. Um, you've got some hybrid barley in your hands there. Uh, we were in oilseed rape last year in this field, and it's gone to winter barley. What were you saying to people about improving uh, the genetic traits uh, from soil health. There's a real link between how we manage the soil and how we get the best out of our varieties and for me that's all about sustainability. Okay. So you've got some great varieties here that have got specific characteristics. For me what we need to do is put the agronomy behind that that keeps those traits as strong as possible. Okay. So if you think about your hybrid barley, yes. you've got disease characteristics, yes. you've got the ability for example to be resistant to barley yellow dwarf virus. Yes. Can we help that trait carry on, get stronger, be more consistent. So we, we, get, the, we get the variety, we look at the, the soil side of things, yes. we understand a little bit more about, from the, from the plant's point of view, what it's looking for, yes. and we suddenly find that actually, just by addressing an issue, for example, making sure the plant's got enough phosphorus to give it a big aggressive root system, yes. it picks up more nitrogen. So it's suddenly got a nitrogen gain, which could be a saving in inputs, more importantly it could be an increase in yield. Okay. We start to change those traits, we start to change those characteristics a little bit by managing the soil and that gives farmers more options when it comes to then looking at their inputs, their costs and their sustainability. And sustainability is a, it's a real buzzword at the moment okay. but we've got to get it right at farm level and for me that's all about the role that these crops play throughout the supply chain. So barley into beer or wheat into bread. Yes. The way we grow the crop has a big impact on that final carbon footprint. Your variety unlocks the benefits and gives us opportunities for savings. And that means that we can get just a little bit more performance and have just a little bit more impact on everything that we do, water use efficiency, nitrogen uptake, everything that's important to us, the key is the variety. Right variety, right time of year, right conditions for it. Agronomy. Agronomy then comes on top of that and, and that's a really exciting delivery then yes. for anybody that wants to look at that. Is that going to feed? Is it going to malting? Is it going to... wherever it goes, yes. we've got a strength of story to deliver. Okay, so Neil, look, thanks very much for your time and uh, thanks again for sharing your insights because uh, the customers that were here this morning, they were really, really impressed with what you were saying on sustainability. Thank you.